North Jackson family is recapping a nightmare last night when someone shot up their home. 12 News' Alex Love talked with the family. He joins us now in the studio with more on how it's working. At 12 News, uh, Alex Love. 12, Alex? Absolutely, Byron. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but more than 12 hours later, members of the Quinn family are still shaken up, and they're waiting for answers from police. The Quinns tell me they first heard bullets down the road on North Park Drive, then the sound got closer, and one bullet flew into one of the bedrooms. In all, they heard about 12 shots, and they saw one of their cars with bullet holes in it. It was just inches from hitting the gas tank. The Quinns say it took several calls before police finally showed up. I seen a bullet enter my bedroom, and I went into the closet, and then I heard my grandma hit the ground, so I thought she was shot, and I went in her room and to make sure she wasn't shot, then they stopped for me, and then they started back. And I called the police, like, right when the first round of shots happened, then I called them again, and I think I called them, like, three times, and they showed up. This comes amid reports of Jackson police facing a police shortage. I've reached out to JPD to talk about what happened, and I'll have much more from the family and others on news, uh, in, in our newscast tonight at 10. Melanie?